Assalamualaikum dan salam sejahtera semua. So today we'll be learning about Unit 7 Financial Management and Accounting. So financial management and accounting, um, the most important thing is you need to understand why you need to do this financial accounting, the importance. Okay, uh, but uh, because most of the business now, they, um, some businesses, they uh they don't have that kind of success because they are not able to track or have a proper financial planning at all during throughout their business okay so the most important thing is the planning stage you need to understand where your financial position is at okay and also you need to understand your financial resources how much model or how much capital have you invested in your business how much your partner has invested in your business so there when you understand and you are able to identify this financial position or your resources you are able to make a proper decision making okay uh, a proper decision in doing in determining whether you need to increase more output for example whether you need to decrease your total cost so you can incur more more profit okay so that kind of decision making process um, that will be helpful um, by using this financial planning proper financial planning other than that um, when you are at the stage of needing to understand where you your business is at you want to know whether you are making sales whether you are making profit or you're actually making losses so you need to know uh, that by doing proper evaluation of your financial position you need to evaluate by the end of the day you can use financial statements uh, which you will be learning soon okay in the next video um, so these are the why you need to understand okay why you need to understand financial accounting so next is um, what are the things that you need to know about financial accounting the basic stuff that you need to know is the type of cost first and foremost um, the basic type of cost here there are two the fixed cost and also variable cost the fixed cost here is fixed cost does not change no matter how much product or services that you produce or um, that you produce or maybe perhaps um, no matter how much product or services that you have decreased in your um, production plan okay your production uh, processes so here the examples of fixed costs are um, the salary of your employees um, if you have hired employees that will work throughout the year and you have um, have that kind of agreement agreement with them to pay them 1500 ringgit for example per month every month they will get that no matter how many hours that they work or no matter how much that they work so that is a fixed cost it's already fixed throughout the month okay other than that you have a rent for your store whether it's an online or offline store perhaps you need a fixed cost to pay that rent it's it's the same amount that you need to pay every month uh, other than that you have the insurance and also other kind of rentals for your equipment for example other than that um, the next cost is the variable cost variable cost unlike fixed cost it keeps on changing the uh, depending on how many products or services that you produce if you increase the amount of product or services that you produce the cost will increase if you reduce the amount of product or services that you produce the cost will decrease okay so that is variable cost the example here is the raw materials that is a very direct example for example if you are producing a cake you need flour you need eggs and so forth but if you have a an order of 10 20 30 keeps on increasing you need more eggs you need more flour you need more this and that okay so that keeps on increasing depending on how many demand that you get per day per month per year all right so that is an example of your variable cost other than that you have the commission sales okay commission of your 
um, employees. Some employees are working based on commission. All right. For example, the more unit that they sell, the more commission that they get. Okay. The more uh, product or services that they are able to introduce to your customers, they are able to sell it. The more money they can, uh, the more commission that they can get from your business. Right. Other than that, wages that depending on the hours that you work. If they work by the hour, one hour, for example, four ringgit per hour, the more hours that they work, the more money or the more wages that they get from the business, from your business, okay? So if they work less hours, they'll get less, okay? So that is variable because it keeps on changing. It is not fixed, okay? Other than that, um, one example is the shipping fee. Um, if you use post larger, for example, okay, um, for customers who keep on adding things in their uh, in their order, uh, um, some posting fees depends on the weight, all right. The less weight, perhaps the most fixed amount um, is, for example, ten ringgit, twelve ringgit. But the more weight it keeps on adding, the more fee they need to incur. Okay, so that is one example of the variable cost, right? So uh, other than that, um, why you need to understand the fixed cost and the variable cost, it will help you to actually identify or understand the profitable um, pr uh, pricing level that you can determine for your uh, products. And also it will help you in determining uh, the break-even analysis, how many units you need to sell to get profit or you can actually identify how many units that you um, that if you sell this kind of unit this amount of unit you will be incurring loss okay so other than break even analysis you can uh, identify the economies of scale economies of scale is the example of cost advantages that you can get a cost per unit that the depending on um, the more that uh, output that you produce so you can look into it economies of scale and break even analysis so i'll see you guys again in the next video all right bye